Welcome back, Machine Arena Channel, everyone. Today, we're stepping deep inside the world of railway construction. From the precision pouring of concrete sleepers to the powerful machines installing them in the field. Let's explore how modern railroads are built. We begin inside a modern precast facility where concrete sleepers, also known as railroad ties, take shape with remarkable accuracy. These components form the foundation of safe and reliable rail systems. Every train, whether hauling freight across vast plains or carrying commuters into busy cities, depends on sleepers that can withstand decades of intense loading, vibration, and harsh weather. First, high-strength steel reinforcement cages are prepared. These steel bars are not simply placed. They're positioned with millimeter-level precision, ensuring each sleeper handles the forces of passing locomotives. Automated machines position the reinforcement, keeping production consistent, safe, and highly efficient. For older viewers who remember timber ties, these modern concrete sleepers represent a major evolution, delivering longer life, greater stability, and reduced maintenance. Next comes the mold preparation. Before concrete is poured, molds are thoroughly cleaned and treated with release agents to ensure smooth shaping. The fastening components, screw dowels and inserts, are accurately positioned so rails can later be bolted securely in place. This careful setup ensures every sleeper comes out uniform, ready to support high speed and heavy freight lines. Now the concrete mix arrives. It's a specialized blend designed for extreme durability, vibration resistance, and weather tolerance. The mix is poured into molds with controlled vibration, eliminating air pockets and compacting the material to maximum strength. Unlike traditional poured concrete on site, factory controlled production allows precise curing conditions and consistent quality. Curing chambers apply steam and controlled temperature to accelerate strength gain. As curing progresses, every batch is rigorously tested. Compressive strength, dimensional accuracy, and alignment checks ensure each sleeper meets strict rail standards. Failures are rare, but when they happen, the sleeper is recycled rather than used. Quality is non-negotiable in railway engineering. Finally, sleepers are demolded, surface finished, and stacked for transport. Notice how they are handled gently, even though they are made of concrete. Machinery lifts and organizes them with care, protecting fastening inserts from damage. Once completed, rows of sleepers stand ready to become part of vital transportation links, connecting cities, industries, and communities nationwide. With thousands produced daily, this facility shows how far rail technology has come. Precision, durability, and industrial craftsmanship working together. Now we move from the factory floor to the railway line construction site, where precision manufacturing meets real-world rail building. Here, specially designed work trains arrive carrying stacks of sleepers. These machines look powerful because they are built to operate smoothly in rugged conditions. The sleepers are unloaded using cranes and mechanical arms, minimizing manual handling and improving safety for the workforce. For those who remember older rail construction techniques, this is a far cry from the days when every tie was lifted by hand and placed one at a time. Workers prepare the track bed below, carefully shaping and leveling the ballast, the crushed stone foundation beneath the ties. Proper ballast distribution is critical. It stabilizes the track, provides drainage, and distributes the massive forces from each train wheel. Skilled operators ensure the surface is perfectly graded, often with the help of automated surveying and laser-guided systems. Now the sleepers are positioned. A specialized sleeper-laying machine moves steadily along the prepared bed, setting each unit with consistent spacing. This spacing, called rail gauge support, ensures the rails maintain the exact distance required for safe train travel. Even small deviations can lead to severe wear or derailment. Precision matters every step of the way. As sleepers are laid, teams follow closely, checking alignment, verifying spacing, and preparing for rail installation. You'll also notice temporary side markers and measurement tools. Simple but vital instruments for keeping everything on track, literally and figuratively. This modern workflow demonstrates the combination of heavy equipment and skilled labor. 
Even with technology, human oversight remains crucial. Engineers, machine operators, surveyors, and labor crews work as one coordinated team, each role essential in building a railway capable of supporting decades of service. As we watch, it becomes clear. Behind every mile of track in this country lies careful planning, specialized equipment, and dedicated workers. From the concrete plant to the construction corridor, the journey of a sleeper is one of engineering precision and practical craftsmanship. Rail lines don't just cross open ground, they span rivers, valleys, roads, and industrial zones. Now we watch as construction crews install sleepers on a bridge section, where conditions demand even greater accuracy and structural strength. On elevated structures, tolerances tighten. The deck must support both the static weight of sleepers and rails and the dynamic forces of passing trains. Crews begin by preparing the surface, ensuring proper elevation and alignment. Materials often include reinforced concrete bases or steel support plates, depending on design. Sleepers are brought in and positioned carefully, often using rail-mounted or crane-assisted equipment. Each one must align perfectly with anchor points, and fastening systems are secured to handle wind loads and vibration. In this environment, there's no room for error. A rail system must integrate flawlessly with the bridge's load-bearing elements. Once positioned, rails are brought in, either delivered along the bridge or hoisted from the ground. Precise clamps temporarily hold them while workers bolt them into place. On bridges, rail fastening systems may include elastic clips and noise damping pads, reducing vibration and sound, important for nearby communities and sensitive structures. Alignment is checked constantly with surveying instruments, verifying height, gauge, and straightness. Even small imperfections could magnify under high-speed load, so crews inspect every meter. Finally, once secured, ballastless or limited ballast systems are locked in. Over time, additional checks ensure long-term stability. Watching this process reminds us of the engineering legacy that built America's great rail bridges and the modern innovation that keeps them strong today. From steel rivets and timber ties to precision-engineered concrete sleepers, rail infrastructure has matured tremendously, and it continues to evolve with each generation. Our journey ends beneath the city where metro rail lines weave through tunnels, connecting millions of people every day. Subway systems require a specialized approach to sleeper installation, as space is tight and access is limited. Inside these tunnels, you can see track slabs and pre-planned pathways for utilities, signaling cables, and drainage. Crews begin by preparing the track bed, whether ballast-based or slab-mounted, Concrete sleepers or direct fixation systems are used depending on vibration control requirements, essential in dense city environments. Sleepers here are often transported into the tunnel on work trains or guided carts. In confined underground spaces, compact lifting equipment or rail-mounted gantry systems take over, moving one sleeper at a time with precision. Workers then align each sleeper to the rail center line marking positions to ensure consistent spacing. Survey teams operate laser-based alignment tools, ensuring the newly laid track matches design specifications down to precise millimeters, a necessity when trains pass within inches of tunnel walls. Fastening systems come next. Elastic fasteners, tie plates, and sound-absorbing pads are installed, optimizing noise reduction and ride comfort. For passengers in a metro car, it feels smooth and quiet, but beneath that comfort lies an incredible engineering effort. Rails are then set, clipped, and leveled. Joint welders follow, performing thermite welds or flashbutt welding to create continuous rail. After welding, grinding machines smooth the rail surface improving wheel contact, 
and minimizing wear. For older rail fans, this technology may contrast sharply with past work trains and manual bolting, showing just how far we've come. Finally, testing teams check alignment, vibration response, and electrical grounding systems. In metro systems, rails also serve as part of the signaling network, so grounding and isolation are vital for safety. Once complete, trains will glide through these tunnels carrying thousands daily, a testament to quiet precision and urban engineering expertise. From countryside freight routes to elevated bridges and now underground transit lines, the humble concrete sleeper plays a silent but essential role. It supports communities, commerce, and connectivity, the backbone of a transportation system that keeps our world moving. Thank you for watching this inside look at modern railway construction. If you enjoyed this detailed journey through the rail building process, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment telling us which part of railway engineering you enjoyed most.